Okay, I'm going to start by using some of Sebastian Shaper just to give a little bit of hold to the hair. It's a workable hairspray so I can still run my flat iron through it and fingers through it and it's not sticky or anything. I start by just taking an inch or an inch and a half section of hair and I'm going to clamp my flat iron right at the base of it near your scalp and do a turn with the flat iron, about a full turn, a 180 turn and then pull it down straight through the hair. So you'll see clamp here at the scalp, turn, and then just pull straight down from there. So you don't have to continue twisting the flat iron all the way around. You just do one twist and then pull straight down and that will create the bend that we're looking for in the hair. I sometimes go back and give a little extra bend right up near the scalp just so that it pulls it off the scalp and you don't have it um, straight at your scalp and then curly down at the ends. You don't want that. If anything, you want it curlier at the scalp and then straighter at the ends. I'm going to speed it up a little bit as I work my way around to the midpoint of the back of the head. Um, starting now, I'm going to bring you around to the front on the other side and start with your fringe pieces, whether they're short or long. Um, start there and kind of get those how you want them. The reason that I don't section the hair with a clip and work from the bottom up or something like that is just because I feel like it creates more work for me. It takes more time. And also, sometimes I feel like the clip kinks your hair a bit, and then you're having to work to smooth those out as you go. So rather, I just kind of take a half inch section or an inch or inch and a half section and then just work underneath it or above it. Um, but if you want to section it, by all means, section it get the same result. So now I'm going to speed it up around this way. I'm working always directing the curls towards the back of the head so each side is going to curl the, the opposite way but both are kind of brushing away from the face directing the curls towards the back of the head. Now I'm going to go back through and show you that up in these front pieces I just gave a little extra bend up towards the root there and kicked out the ends a bit more. I'm going to look around for any ends that look a little too straight and give them a little more bend um, and then make sure that if, if I like what I've got and I like how the curls are looking then I'm just going to set it with this spray before I touch it or shake it or anything like that because I want to let it cool down a bit and I also want to give it a little bit of hold with the shaper so some more around the face and then I'm going to go in and start shaking at the crown just put your fingers in onto your scalp at the crown and just shake from the top give a little lift and that will kind of break up your curls you don't want them to stay too separated or too uh, clumped together you want to separate them so now I'm using my favorite product. It's just a dream product. It gives volume and grit and it smells amazing. It's the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray and it is awesome. It just builds volume. You could use the whole bottle probably on one head and you wouldn't feel too weighed down, but you also can definitely feel the difference after just one spray. So I'm going in and really getting it at the root this is help break, helping break up the curls a bit more as well as creating some volume and texture. As you can see, even as I lay those curls back down into place, it just it looks a little better, a little more beachy, a little more rough. Uh, now I'm going to kind of look and see on her head if there's any areas that I feel are a bit more flat, whether it's on the side or the back or whatever. I can use my brush back home just a little. You don't want anything intense where you're going to have a rat's nest anywhere, but just a little bit of volume so that you don't have any flat spots and your style will last you a little longer. Okay, working and then just making sure those look nice and smooth. Nothing looks ratty. And she's going to turn to the side here and you can kind of see the texture we've created and 
give it a little finishing spray with your flexible hairspray. And you can kind of see the other side too, how it just looks messy and tousled and it's nothing too uniform. And that's how you want it. You want it to just be imperfect.